back to the beginning um, of the Chinese Spring Festival to contain the outbreak, the Chinese Ministry of Education ordered to close all the schools on January 29th and later requested the schools to start the second semester with remote teaching. It took the Shanghai Municipal Commission of Education about three weeks to launch the Shanghai Plan, which started to provide self-pacing recorded lessons on TV channel Area of Classroom to 1.4 million local elementary and secondary school students on March the 2nd. This solution guarantees the basic academic contents and standards reach the large scale number of students, especially those who do not have their own cell phones or computers. Meanwhile, the local schools could devise and implement their own teaching plans. The FDFZ students are generally outstanding on academics and have high expectations on themselves. What plan should FDFZ make? to support the student learning and living at this challenging time. FDFZ soon decided uh, we would follow three principles to design and conduct our own teaching plan. First, fairness. All the students, no matter where they are and what devices they have, should be able to access the resources and continue learning from home. We shall leave no one behind. The plan should also consider the conditions for the teaching faculty to support them work from home. Second, feasibility. None of us have done anything like this before, so it has to be trials and errors. Can all the courses be taught through the internet? Should we change the class hours? Do we need to consider the sequence of teaching contents and skills? How to make sure the teaching and learning is still effective? We need to pilot the ideas first, then improve the flawed ones ongoingly till we meet our goals. Third, customization. We need to differentiate the remote teaching programs for the students in different levels and tracks, especially those with special needs or in the graduate class, so that their needs are met. Consequently, everyone in the community, leadership, faculty, students, and parents should collaborate. And here's what we have done. FDFC decided to take the beginning of February as preparation and spent two weeks on piloting before the practice on March the 2nd. During the preparation stage, Principal Wu sent an open letter on the school social media account to encourage all the teachers, students, and parents prepare for teaching and learning from home. It's tough time, but we will make it. The academic office was responsible for formulating the first version of remote teaching plans with clear instructions on key points, such as general guidelines, what platform we'll use, how to structure the teaching on it, when are the classes, etc. Approximately 95% of the teaching faculty would shift to teaching on new platforms, and they need to know how to make it happen. Based on the needs, the FDFC IT Center cooperated with the vendor Chaoxing to open the Xuexi 365 platform at the earliest time and train the teachers with the relevant ICT skills, such as how to establish your courses, record teaching videos, post assignments, host online class discussions, lecture with live broadcast platform, etc. FDIS, the international division, decided to deepen and broaden another platform, DingTalk, as it better meets the needs of international students and teachers. The faculty in Shanghai also received equipment and other necessary resources from school, such as textbooks. Um, it's time to give it a go.